Like you're not a background actor, okay? We are a main character. So I know the struggle of staring in your closet and feeling like you have absolutely nothing to wear. But trust me, we're gonna change that. Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Maria, the Maria Fadi on all socials, and this is your go-to for everything fashion, a little bit of reviews, and of course, commentary. Today, I've got something special for you. I'll be sharing with you five different outfits for whether you're going out with your besties or planning a date with that someone special. I've got you covered with looks that will make you feel confident and stylish. From chic and elegant to bold and obviously confident, I am going to be showing something for every personality out there. So just sit down, get your cup of tea, get your cup of coffee, whatever you need to settle in, and let's get First into it. First off, let's say you're looking for a fun, trendy, and stylish outfit for a girl's night out or just a night out with your friends, let's be real. You know you're going to be taking photos, okay? Or at least maybe some of that will go on Instagram. We're going to get dressed with the purpose of going somewhere fun. And if that is the case, I wanted to bring in some colors. Obviously, we're approaching summer, but to be honest with you, I think this can very much go into spring, fall. It's a bit of a transitional outfit, in my opinion. I have a jacket on in this outfit. The corset top that I have there is this red corset top that I got from Amazon. The skirt is also from Amazon. The jacket is an old Zara blazer. I've talked about this in my videos a lot because I wear it a lot. We have the corset creating this V look. Very colorful. Obviously, you don't have to do colorful things like that but we're going for a girl's night out you know it's a splash of fun colors you're wearing makeup you're you're really going out to the t to the nine to the tens all right a little bit of colors so i went with this corset top and then of course i have my chanel slim back heels these are the black ones love them they go with everything they're black heels and they're comfortable because they're like chunky heels Oh, anyway, then I have my Valentino Garavani. I did a review of this one recently. This is the Valentino Rockstar bag. Obviously, I'm doing the thing that I always do, which is pairing up the outfit. Red, the red corset top is going with the bag, which is red. And that way, even though red is a very bright color, it's very loud of a color. Feel as though, because we're pairing it up, it doesn't look too out of place. Red is still in right now. I'm loving that myself, to be honest with you. But I think, Red has always been in. It's a color that we all know and love. If you wanted to take this from just a trend to a splash of color or a piece that accessorizes or highlights or elevates in your closet, that's how you can do it by pairing it up with something else that's obviously red as well. My tips and my tricks, like I said, and then, you know, my accessories, a pop of color, but creating pairs, right? Point number two is for a romantic dinner date, right? It's all about turning heads, making a statement. Obviously, we're going out on a date. That's the point. We want to turn head. We want to make a statement. You should dress up. I mean, your real life should be like a Met Gala. You should dress up for most of the things you should do anyway, in my opinion. But of course, you still want to look elegant, put together while turning heads, right? So how do we find that back? This outfit, this was actually worn. We were going to celebrate our anniversary and I got this dress from ASOS. This dress, alter top dress, it's really, really sparkly. I got it like three or four years ago. You know, that little black dress, but elevated, a little bit chic and obviously center of attention. That is what this dress is. When, I, when we went out, obviously I had a jacket. Like I said in my other videos, I get cold super duper easily. So I have my Zara jacket, the same one I was wearing in outfit number one. We're carrying it over to outfit number two. I have the same closet. I have the same closet, I have the same wardrobe. Like obviously the pieces should be able to move. And that's exactly what this blazer jacket, crop jacket is doing. And then the shoes, these are the Versace Avidas. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but I think I am. Those are the Avidas, super, super, super fun shoe. Definitely fun shoe, but heavy. It will start to hurt after like two hours of you walking on it because it's a literal workout. I think they accent the dress and the outfit really well. The sunglasses I have on are from my brand. These are the classics in black. My bag, this is the Christian Dior saddle bag. This is in the gray color. You have to have the same color for your shoes in a bag. Let's be honest, you don't have to do that. I don't believe in that rule. I do do that rule, but I don't believe you always have to do it and I don't always do it, okay? I don't. But if you're gonna be wearing something and you don't have anything else to pair it up with, you can go with colors that are in the same family. So I know that the silver, the gray, similar family, one has a shin to it and a sparkle, one doesn't. And that's why I went with the bag and the shoes. A like 20s glam vibe. It has different illusions when you go into the light. You can go with that silver gold look. I would definitely repeat that outfit today if we're to go out for a date night like right now because I love it so much. If you're still here and haven't subscribed, don't forget to hit that button and give this video a thumbs up. Let's get back into it. So that. outfit number three, I'm sure, like me, you've been invited to dinner and drinks and you're like, I need something that's personal enough for dinner 
and drinks. Here's how you're gonna do it. So I have this mini wrap dress from Diaphragm Fossenberg. I love this dress. It literally never wrinkles, like obsessed with it. And I think it is fancy and elegant enough that you can wear again to dinner and then to drinks because it's mini so it's not overly formal, but at the same time you could go to a dinner because the top part is a bit formal. Straddle that middle point. We're going to dinner and drinks so we need something that can cross over very easily. Something versatile, right? The dress that I have on, it is so interesting. I I love the patterns on it. It's brown and blue, which is so like fascinating as a color wheel person. If you know me, I love my color wheel stuff. And the fact that they made this color work so well is it just pairing us up with these are the roll heel sandals. I think these are the Ray sandals. I'm not 100% sure I will link it, but these are the roll Ray sandals. Love them, but caution because they will hurt after a while. This is a dinner one. It is a drink and dinner one for sure. Like you have two drinks, okay? And then you go to dinner, perfect. If you're gonna be walking around for drinks, maybe don't wear these shoes. I will say they're perfect for drinks and dinner though. But yeah, two hours, three hours max, that's what I give you in this heel. So don't say I didn't tell you, just say that you look good, okay? The bag, this is the Lulu Puffer. This is the YSL Lulu Puffer. Definitely great for a dinner date. Definitely great for a day date. It's crossbody and shoulder and I love. Crossbody and shoulder bag? Yes, sign me up. So going for simple, classic, elevated. This, this is a, clearly a very chic dress. You could go from date to dinner. There's nothing else to say about that. Let's go to outfit number four. Let's go to outfit number four. Let's say you have a special event or celebration, right? The outfit that I'm actually gonna show you, I wore to a gender review your party you have like a dinner or a brunch someone's graduation dinner someone's graduation any special event or celebration while it's still obviously important and you still want to impress because again it's a special event you try going with something simple like a dress of course my dress is a little bit elevated it has some ruffles and patterns on it so it's not just a dress of course you can go with any kind of dress that speaks to you this one obviously spoke to me i love off shoulder stuff I'm really drawn to dresses that highlight those areas because those are my i guess strong areas right so for me personally dresses that are off shoulder or have some kind of detail by the neck I am obsessed with. And that's exactly why I went with this dress. I would go with a dress that you feel confident in, a dress that you are comfortable, but also don't just stand in the background. Like you're not a background actor, okay? We are a main character. And as, as much as it may be a celebration for someone else, you don't, you're not a background actor. My necklace from a local jeweler. Bracelets are from jewelry. I have them on right now. They are my everyday bracelets. I shower with them, I sleep with them, I do everything with them. They have not faded, they haven't had, I haven't had any issues with them. Obviously going with gold as part of my accessories there. You can clearly tell. And the sunglasses that I have on on my head are actually the classics. These are from my brand. These are my sunglasses. And the bag is the Fendi Peekable. This is in black and gold hardware. Again, bringing that gold back in. But yeah, this is the Chanel Sling Bags, which I am obsessed with. I talk about it in every video. I wear them a lot. You know, not overdoing it. Obviously, it is not your event. And if, it's, if it is your event, you still look great, right? but not doing too much. Whether you're the main attraction or you're just there to celebrate someone, the whole point is to look great. So yeah. Last but definitely not the least, let's say you have a movie date night. You've been invited to go to the movies. You know, typically movies have colder environment, but at the same time you're gonna look good, right? That's, that, that's the requirement. It's probably cold in the theaters, but you it's a date night we still want to look good. So I would go with something that's probably long sleeve or a jacket that I could put on top or maybe pants, but something that looks cute, but at the same time, yeah, that's exactly what I'm doing in this outfit. This is the Alamaze dress. This is like this really pretty patterned dress. Maybe there's a pattern here for me too. Maybe you guys are noticing something, but I love, I love patterns, okay? Um, I love pattern dresses. I love pattern things because I feel it makes it simple to kind of style around it. You just match what's in the pattern of the dress and then you look so like elevated and classy. And that's kind of one of my tricks when it comes to styling myself. So I guess there you go. Let's say you have a movie day night, right? Like I said, long sleeves because it might be cold. I'm you know, going with a short dress here. Cute, okay, it's giving cute, it's giving. Then I went with my rose sandals. I'm not sure which one these are. Also, also very great looking sandals. Like these heel sandals look amazing, but they do also hurt. You're going to be in a theater sitting down. You will be fine. This is actually perfect for that. And that's why I think this one works so well. I have the Loewe Hammock Hobo. This is also in like a cream color. As you can tell, the dress is white and green. The base would be cream or white for this dress. So that's why I made my accessories cream white. You can do that too, whether whatever dress or clothing you have, 
just kind of take some of those patterns go to the base color whether it's black white gray use that as the base that you're kind of building this color with and trust me your outfit will always look amazing the glasses i have on are actually warby parkers these are to see i actually need those to see and it's great because they transition so they are stylish and for going out the necklace that i have on are from misoma london the green matching the green of the dress the white with the shoes and the accessories that's how you would do it let's say you had a movie date night you wanted to go out there and pressing but you obviously know you might get cold long sleeve baby long sleeve short mini dress and there you have it my top five going out outfits if you found anything useful in this video at all let me know which ones were your favorite in the comments and until next time